so what is up guys nick here helping you to master your technology iphone se 2020 iphone 7 8 10r and of course the 11 battery drain test let's go ahead and flip these babies around and start talking about what's going to happen here so i'm going to kind of stress test battery drain these so we're at 100 percent here on se 2020 full brightness bluetooth wi-fi it's going to be the same story for the iphone 8 100 percent again we are on ios 13.4.1 and the 8 is also at 100 full brightness bluetooth wi-fi turned on and the iphone 10r also 100 full brightness bluetooth wi-fi turned on of course the 11 is the same deal, full brightness, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi will be turned on. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and begin this test by playing a YouTube video. We're gonna play this YouTube video for about an hour and then I'm gonna do some benchmarks. We're gonna run through a couple of other things and we'll see. So let me turn off the charge. I had this connected to a multiple charger for iPhone. This, it charges like five iPhones at once. If you wanna know where I got it, link down below. But you can see we're gonna start this video process and I'll be back kind of like in an hour. I don't wanna make you sit through all this. This video is actually over four and a half, five hours long. So that would be a pretty long piece of content. But you can see that just after one hour, we're about to close in on it. You're gonna see that there's some surprising results that happen here in this battery drain. Here we are, we're gonna show you the first result and the iPhone SE 2020 at 87% after just 55 minutes actually, not even a full hour, 87%. 84 for the iPhone 7, we're sitting at a pretty 86% for the iPhone 8 and we're sitting at 86% for the iPhone 10R and finally we're sitting at the leading iPhone 11 at 88%, but all of them drain pretty similar in that round. So now we're gonna do a couple of benchmarks here. Actually, I ran Geekbench and Tutu as well as 3D Mark. And I also played some PUBG in here. We also played some other games on an endless loop just to keep it draining that battery. And you could see after an hour and 41, we're at 63% on the SE2020. You could see the 63% on the iPhone 8. So are we getting the same battery performance on the 8 and the SE? We'll see, but 60% here for iPhone 7. So those three smaller iPhones looking pretty similar in their battery drain. 65% here for iPhone 10R, And over here at an hour and 41, we do have around 70% for the iPhone 11. So, so far the bigger iPhones are showing better performance. So I played another long video clip here and looking at the scores at three hours and five minutes, where do they stand? Well, the iPhone SE does stand at 31 percent pretty disappointing but not bad I me mean, three hours it is a small battery and it's still running a screen on full brightness this is really stressing these batteries you don't usually run it like this but 34 percent on the iphone 7 here we are trying to kill these phones though so we're definitely putting them up against some very good stressing you could see 38 percent here on the iphone 8 and running over here to the iphone 10r shockingly lower than the iphone 8 but we'll see which one can hang on longer uh, towards the end you can see the iphone 11 42 percent staying in the lead so which one is going to drain even further so i'm going to continue to run more uh, camera tests here now we're going to go 4k 30 on all of these and just kind of run these for about 20 minutes straight on these i'll be back when they are done running this test So you could see at about three hours and 28 minutes, let's check where the batteries are now. This definitely camera is always gonna drain a ton of batteries. So the iPhone SE over here sitting at a pretty 17%, well, it's not pretty, but 
three hours and 30 minutes, 16% on the seven, pretty close there to the SE. And over here on the iPhone eight, above both those guys at 22%. And you could see that the, the iPhone 10 are a little bit behind the eight at 21% and the iPhone 11 sitting pretty at 32%, definitely higher than everyone else in this competition. And you could see that we are, we're just gonna keep stressing them. We're gonna keep running more benchmarks until we drain these down to where they have no battery left. And of course, you're not gonna run it like this. So you probably can expect an hour or so better battery life than the final results that you do see here. But we're gonna check in again at around four or so hours. So at four hours and four minutes, the SE is gone. Goodbye. It's over with four hours and like four minutes. So yes, the SE definitely not going to be a battery champ. I actually think it's going to be the worst of all the new iPhones in the current lineup that you can buy in terms of longevity and a battery. So you're going to want to turn on low power mode with that one. Now we're going to run some more testing and see who goes next. And my guess it's the iPhone seven, just five minutes or so later, the iPhone seven has given up the ghost. You can see around four minutes or around four minutes, around four hours and nine minutes. Yeah, that's not much better than the SE. You can see over here, the iPhone eight is now gone. Just a few minutes later or 13 minutes or so later, the iPhone eight is gone. So I'm basically going to conclude that most of those small iPhones are performing around the same type of battery longevity. You're going to get around four hours or so battery on the smaller iPhones and the SE of this year is no different. The big boys are hanging on longer than any of them. And the iPhone XR definitely stood on 1% so long. It was a, it was on 1% right now for ever, it felt like. And it held on for many more minutes. So yeah, if you want a better battery life, you're gonna wanna go with XR iPhone 11. The iPhone XR gives up the ghost at four hours and 33 minutes. So it says, sit down small iPhones. I'm gonna show you why you should pick me over you. So yeah, the 10R still has a better battery life than those smaller iPhones, including the new SE. You can see the iPhone 11 is the unquestionable winner here. 6% left, I mean, not a lot, but still it beat every iPhone in this test. So the iPhone 11 clearly going to be the champion, but I know you wanna know how much longer is that thing over there that iPhone 11 going to hold on. So we're gonna, you're gonna drain this one too until it's gone as well. So we'll do more Antutu here, which definitely uses a ton of battery life. Then we'll go and watch some more video over here. We'll also run a couple other things just to see how much further this iPhone can go. And at four hours and 58 minutes, just under five, this thing is definitely about to go. And it, do, it doesn't make five hours, so you know, again, we're stressing. So if you are lower brightness, if you do use basic apps, the iPhone 11 is definitely gonna hit somewhere around that six and a half, seven hour screen on time mark. And all these should get about an hour better if you guys aren't stressing them like we did in this test. But it finishes here at four hours and 58 minutes with the iPhone SE giving up the battery first. So disappointing results for this SE. The iPhone 7 was like five minute difference. So basically the same as the SE of 2020 and the iPhone 8 only like 10 minutes or so better. So again, I'm gonna call it pretty much the same. So the smaller iPhone does not see an increase in battery life. And it says on Apple's website, iPhone 8 about the same as iPhone SE 2020. So they were not lying there. The iPhone XR over here, definitely more impressive than those smaller iPhones. So yes, when Apple was marketing about the iPhone XR being all day battery life, it is. The iPhone 11 beating that phone out as well. So pretty much the most popular selling iPhone before this new SE came, definitely has a good reason why. It's got great battery life, but pretty disappointing again. You know, I would like to see it a better battery life on this new SE, but you're not getting it there. However, keep in mind, you got low power mode. You don't got to run it at full brightness. You don't got to run Bluetooth all day. You don't got to run everything all day on your iPhone. And you definitely will get a little bit longer than the way we were stressing them here, but we were trying to kill them in this video. Stay tuned. Cause I'm going to do uh, all day battery tests soon enough with the iPhone SE kind of see how it does in the real world. But I would say overall kind of what I expected here, the iPhone 11 to win, but I was a little shocked that the eight outlasted 
the iPhone SE. So if you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, go ahead and click that like button for me down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace.